<laughs> What's up? What's up, everybody? Jay's here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2024 Tops Heritage Baseball just sold out. This is a 12 box hobby case. PYT number two, all card ship. And there's the case there. Michael's not there right now. But here's the list right here, guys. You have to, you have to talk slower because this break is so long. Everybody's going to watch it back in 2x. I know. 2x. I know, right? <laughs> Actually, I've never done that on YouTube. I do it all the time. Yeah. Once All I started, right. I haven't stopped. Let's open this up, guys. That's how Vanessa sometimes listens to audiobooks and shit. And I'm like, how the hell do you uh, listen to it that fast? I'm like, how do you process all that information? Oh, that's just heavy. Ugh. That's there. All right. <clears throat> I'll keep a couple. <clears throat> and Michael ripped the rest of them there for us. All right, Jonathan, I'm counting on you to be here. He's going to hand you all the box toppers. Yeah, box toppers, he's going to hand them all to me. Nice Jason Dominguez to start us off, though. That's for Tristan and the Yankees. There's a Phil Roof. 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 Also, the way I rip these packs, the way I handle the boxes, pack two always has the hit. Yeah. yeah. So if we ever go, if we ever go to a retail card shop and we see how they open the box, I will pull the hit all the time. It's the same thing with uh, <laughs> like every product now. They yeah, I know they don't do shit. Like heritage, not heritage, uh, tribute. Yeah. All the relics and autos are in the same pack, mm -hmm. They're in the same spot in the box. I remember when people did that for like Carmel Kaboons, I'm like, uh, bro. That was like something with like the code or something. Yeah, oh that too, yeah, yeah, if you had the right code. Well, Can I see the code? I'm like, no bro, you can't see the code. Yeah. Well yeah, that that year. Um that year it was like the code and then the next year it was the same box in the case. So second box on the left. Okay. Wow, what's up Joe? What's up, Joe? Oh. I guess maybe we're not gonna post another support for it. Go down on the DM. All right, so this is gonna be. Oh, I got the hot box. Woohoo! I never get the hot box. Well, damn, bro, I didn't do it on purpose. You only did like one case. So <laughs> I never get the hot box. How was the case that Joe did yesterday? We only had two autographs over there. Two autographs. Oh, did? Yeah. Someone was saying that uh, the max they've seen is like three. I was like, damn, that's rough. Just to show you how much stuff they made. Oh, yeah. Here. Ron Guidry, box topper. Wow, that should be our title for all of our Fanatics live breaks. The m &J Show. I'm doing well though, Joe. I'm okay. I'm hungry. Yeah, Michael's hungry, so... He's gonna definitely enjoy his lunch right after this break. Fred Lynn. But how is it over there? No more earthquakes anymore? But just the one there in the aftershock? Whoa. Right now. Good. Don't have this, this day. Uh, one of our customers, Adam Coverman, said that he, he didn't know that it was an earthquake until all his friends started texting him like, did you guys feel that? He thought like someone hit his building or something. <laughs> I was like, yeah, if you're not used to that shit. Yeah. Us people over here in California, that's an everyday thing for us. Yeah.
sun when there's an earthquake. I have a bunch of like, uh, like signs saying stuff. Like, oh, dude, I, I'm afraid that shit's gonna fall, right? And it's right above my head. Right <laughs> in my your head. room, that's yeah. why. And like two of them hit me. Like, luckily they hit me in the head. Were you here in California when that one big one happened, like in 20, I think it was like 18 or 2017? So that happened like right after 4th of July? Like 6 something. Yeah, it was, it was actually like 7. I just looked it up the other day. It was like 6 something, but I think it ended up being like 7.1. Yeah. That shit was wild. Remember I had just come back from like Palm Springs area? We went on like that, you know, the, 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 the shit that takes you all the way to the mountain. Yeah. And uh, we stopped at my parents to get something. And I remember the RV that my parents had outside was just shaking, bro. I was like, holy shnikes. Yeah, there's like, I have this huge... Kobe frame uh-huh. jersey and stuff. Yeah. And when I got it, the, the only space in my room on the wall was above my bed. <laughs> and like I, you know, after that, I was like, I'm never putting it above my bed. Right. So I had to like take a bunch of stuff down. All right, call Yastrzemski. Two more inches of rain tonight, though. I know. I know. How was the eclipse part of it, Joe? Did it did it go through your path too? I know Copperman said he was driving like upper, upstate like New York area and wherever it was at in the. I wonder if it was chaos for a lot of those cities. I had another wrong Gidry. So let me move this here and I'm gonna move this a little back. I did read today though that sciences are saying that the uh, San Andreas fault is like active and that it could predict something. I was like, no. Oh, there you go. Rex is actually talking about it right now. I don't know. Jinx. Can't really, I know, right, Jinx? Can't really, I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to predict shit like that. It just happens. I know we do have like, I have the, I have that app that, that, um, that predicts it like five or ten seconds before it happens, which what are you gonna do then? But I mean, it's something, I guess. It's like only in Alley County, though. I think it's from like Caltech. It's like if you're in Alley County area, it'll warn you like 10 seconds, 15 seconds, I think the most, before it's gonna happen. I don't know. I think it's always good though when there's always smaller earthquakes that are happening because it just kind of settles everything down. When there's no earthquakes for a long time period, then that's where it gets a little scary. Dude, that one uh, thing you told me about blew up. Remember the, the lady with the old car and baby? Oh, yeah. Dude, so many people online are talking about that yesterday and today because she's an astrologist. Yeah, she was, she was like warning people that the eclipse was gonna like be Judgment Day or something like that. I don't know, she she killed nuts. her husband. And yeah, cause like the world's ending, right? Yeah, right. It's wild. All right. We got another. Let's buy back here, Dave Raider. And another Jason Dominguez. That's cool. <laughs> End of the world promo. I know, right? <laughs> uh, if that's going to happen, I'm not going to be at work. <laughs> <laughs> End of the world promo. No, we're just going to have a huge mixer. <laughs> <laughs> all years, all products. Honestly, Joe, this table is massive, but this screen that I'm looking at to like chat with you guys is just so massive. It takes up so much space, and like we just have a bunch of junk over here. But yeah, good thing I can leave some of those boxes there.
I have no idea what Park Hill is, to be honest. There's a side view mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was over here like, oh wait, they can't see nothing, but then I'm like, wait, they can see right here. I remember we used to have a small little computer, one that we had over there. And then Joe's like, I need a big one. And we're like, whoa! <laughs> oh yeah, that's way up north. But the thing is that, like, the fault just runs, like, right under Los Angeles, so... If it's if it's the San Andreas fault, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Every day before work, I, like, consider bringing my TV. Oh, that's right. No, but then games. I'm like, I have nowhere to put it. Yeah. We have to mount it up. What's our remote? You know how to mount TVs and all that? That's what he does? No, I'm just, oh. he did this one for us though. I mean, uh, it's not that hard, but he's like, I'll do it. And I was like, all right, cool. I mean, yeah, I've done it. <laughs> yeah, because this one, we didn't have a TV uh, mounted at the time. It was just on a desk. And then I remember uh, one summer where like, there was like nothing to do and they had like no project. So he's like, I can do this for you guys. Just sell off. To the 85 inch TV. Damn, that's what I want. My brother in law has like an 80 or something like that, and I was just like, bruh. 65 just seems so small now. It took three people to do it. <laughs> Alright, guys, here we go. I'm gonna start the first box here. So, this is the one that has the hot box. How about a little Colton Kouser for the Warriors? Danby Swanson. So I'll sleeve up all those purples. Number to 999, Zach Wheeler. So this is the card you're talking about, the card right before would be considered like the shorter print too as well. And then that one obviously is one. Devers. Bobby Wood Jr. Why are like the Celtics like still playing their guys? I don't know, dude. Yoshida. Um, I don't know. Maybe they're just like afraid of them getting rusty. I don't know. Like they could have not played their starters. There's Ellie. For like three weeks and probably still be first. Are these are the names backwards like that on purpose? Like upside down? No. Well, um, it says it should say right above the number. What is it? Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, because Jonathan was saying, like, the card before the flip card is usually yeah. a shorter print card. What, what did they say about, what did it say about the... Um, it just the said, oh, it said image. Yeah. Oh, so that's an image variation. Oh, that's a nice one, then. Oh, it's a trivia question. Oh, that's why. I guess that makes sense. Don't they all have them? No, no, I didn't know that. I didn't. I never noticed the back yesterday. No. But yeah, it does say image above 473. Yeah, that's an image variation Ellie, which is nice. Uh, Kevin Yang. There you go. And then obviously these ones are also considered. So let's leave those ones up too. Kyle Tucker. I like to sleeve up all the Otanis too because, I mean, it's just Otani. Thank you, sir. And then uh, Charlie Hogue. Cute. It's really good stuff. Dodgers. One second, guys. I'll be right back. Get out of the hospital. So it's just us, huh? This is awkward.
<laughs> Too slow, Mike. And then anytime you see an insert of flip card, check the back of the card price. Gotcha. Okie dokie. Thank you, Jonathan. Adley. And Nestor. Cortez Jr. Whoa. For the Yanks, going to Tristan. Yelly. Altuve? I don't know about that one. Tommy Henry? If there's writing above the card number. Then it's oh, that's what it is. If not, it's a base. That one has said nothing. House Young Kim. Alexander Bybach, Braxton Garrett, Yohan Moncada, so maybe a high number. What was the highest numbers again? Was like anything over 100? Or is it 400 or 500? For the high number short prints? No, this year it's 199. Oh. And then over 200 is? Just base. Okay. I think so, I don't know. Soto, though. I'm pretty sure someone told me that uh, 1 through 100 is the short pieces. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Soto right there. All the backwards are on the Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tiger traded John Smoltz for Doyle Alexander? Damn. So he never turned out to be, huh? Carnacion Strand. And then I think for all the home run leader type of deals, uh, we'll go left, right, and then I think there's some quads in here sometimes. So, we'll do those all the others. Oh yeah, the non-baseball too, that's right. So we'll do all those randomizers at the end, so that way everyone fairly gets what they get. First World Series picture. Then Jake Rogers. Nemo. South Berlick. This is also one of those two, right? The black and white. BNW for the Mets. Oh, well, that's not terrible then, Mike. Just, it just wasn't John Smallstar, right? Harry Parker. William Parker, that is. Alright, last of the first box here, guys. This one has a lot of those uh, purple parallels, so. Ooh, Dominguez to $3.99. Number? No, I mean, it's, it's out of three. It's, it's got like a, almost 400. That's his card number. That's his card. Oh, they said it only goes to 100. Or 100 is the variations? Yeah. Oh, 1 through 100. Yeah. Oh, either way, we're going to talk about that anyways. Bilotti. Oh, yeah. Dan. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. 
Right. Evan Carter. Alright, Xbox. We'll speed through this one because this is not going to have the purples. Riley Adams. Nathaniel Lowe. Garcia, short prints are cards one through one hundred except card eighty two of Aldi has it. this is base, and card four oh seven the Aldi Tavares is a short print. Right. Well, we'll definitely will not be a hundred percent perfect, Jonathan, but we'll do our best. Everything ships anyway, so. Thank you, sweet. Here sir. are the other eight boxes. There. Just for jokes. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> Go <ahead> jokes. Caminero, Nolan Arenado. There is a Jacob de Grom to nine ninety nine. And a Jeff McNeil relic for the Mets. And nice premier number one sold out, Mike Tower. That's awesome, man. Premier Hockey is coming out soon, too, in like 22, 23, I believe. Ty France. Delay. Davis White. Remember, Mike, when we did like 301 boxes of like 16, 17 Black Diamond? I remember we literally killed like 300 boxes of Black Diamond 16, 17. Like it was wild. And I remember we did a handful of half case. I mean, I remember we did a handful of cases and full cases too, but for some reason the one boxers was just, it was just a golden ticket for everybody. Everybody loved it. Alec Bone. Cole Calhoun.
Basby. Carpenter. Old Dick Williams. Soler. Leody Tavares. Highlights. Johan Rojas, and that is a image variation for the Phillies. Josiah Gray. And Jordan Adams, autograph for the Angels. Justin with the Angels. Is that our second autograph already? I feel like it is. Quad Diamond Bedard is going to go for some insane money, bro. It's going to be wild. Alex Paul. McMahon. Clarity, Italian, yeah, you know what's going to go pretty ham too, Mike, is you know how they do those manufactured patches? So many people that are, in, are new to the hockey game are going to be getting into those, and, um, you know, they're going to sell extremely well when it's like a Bedard, you know? It's going to be dumb. Even though they're not real patches. It's still gonna look really beautiful with all the multicolors. Jesus Lazardo to nine ninety nine. Dude, that was, I was only like a little kid. What, what year did that happen? The Bronco chase during the finals? Like it was like Knicks and, and, and Rockets. What was that, like 94? I don't know, I might have been alive. I mean, if it was 94, if it was 92, I probably wasn't yet. But that was pretty wild probably to experience. Like NBC switching back from the finals to a freaking car police chase. Like, like that's how big the story was. They're like, F the finals. We're just going to go back to this. <laughs> Ronnie Mauricio White. That's a pretty nice one there for the Mets, EA. I feel like he's been a prospect for a very, very long time, too. Mark Canha. Jury. Yeah, that too, dude. Like, like I said, I wasn't really alive and remember anything about that day, but I've seen so many clips over the years. Tucker, Francisco Mejia. They played the verdict while you guys were in lunch? Um, well, I, I think the crazy thing about that whole thing that happened at the time, it was just like, LEPD has been, had done so many things, you know, wrong 
to, you know, specifically the black community, right? So, I mean, even though, like, they wanted to have the LAPD lose this battle, even though potentially OJ did murder somebody, like, there was so many flaws, right? I mean, remember the show? I mean, I learned a lot from the show of how much evidence was tampered with, how the cop car that had the evidence took the police car home, and, you know, they just basically... They won the trial by, like, using the LAPDs, like, against them, basically. So it's crazy how, like you said, people cheered at the time, but then years later, you're, like, kind of regretting it. Christopher Morrell. Hunter Green. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and that, that's right. I think, what was his name? Robert Kardashian? His dad was one of the attorneys. I think he was more of a friend at the time, but since he was a lawyer, I guess he was involved. I don't know. The show was really cool, though, I will say. Obviously, doesn't always paint the picture exactly what it really was, but um, it was a pretty cool show, though. What was it called again? The OJ Trials, I think, like that? It was, I think it was on, like, on FX, wasn't it? I don't know. It was pretty awesome, actually. Ellie. Well, I think there was always, like, rumors of, like... They always said that one of the Ch Kardashian children, like, Chloe, was, like, <laughs> OJ's, like, father. Or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of tricky with that family. So, I did four boxes, I believe. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The rest of the eight are right here, guys. So, I'm gonna move this very softly. Next one, Joey Wendell. So yeah, I don't know if I expect any more autographs in here, guys. I mean, seriously. Um, hopefully, we just get some really cool numbered card short friends, I think, because we already hit the two autos. Randy or Rosa Reina. Andres Jimenez for the Cleveland Guardians. It's going to EA. These are the Mayu.
That'd be great, Jonathan. But yeah, I think Joe or Michael said Joe said he only had two over here, and then we only had two yesterday. So I mean, I'll hopefully we can get more than that, but I guess since we pulled the two autographs, I'm not as optimistic. I guess. But we'll see. Maybe it proved me wrong, right? Let's call Camilla Duvall. Yeah, like the Orioles are just so loaded in their pipeline. Like how young, how many young prospects they have. They're like, they're like the Oklahoma City Thunder. They draft so well, and develop. You know. Um, the first auto, Eric, was uh, Nestor Cortez. And then we got that Ellie short print. And then we have the uh, Jordan Adams. And Kelser was a white background parallel. I think the blacks are more shorter, apparently, right? I think one's like every 80 or 90 packs or something like that. Mike Nelson Trout. That's a cool short print to get right there, right? It's nice one there for the Angels, Justin. Alter. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, white, but if you get a white in a really nice color, um, obviously, or a really nice player, I should say, it's always pretty nice, right? Like if you get like a white Ellie or something like that, it's probably pretty nice. Yeah, Rex. I mean, we all know this already. Um, I don't know if you heard. I don't know if you uh, seen Bob's tweet about that like a week or so ago, but. There's rumors that Sasaki already basically said he's going to be a Dodger. <laughs> Which, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, so many big-time, you know, Asian pitchers in general just have always, you know, chosen the Dodgers. So he probably wants to follow in that footsteps, too. But we'll see if money talks, obviously. Alec Thomas. Oh, you didn't see that like last week or two weeks ago? Yeah. Supposedly he already made up his mind, but technically, I mean, I'm sure a lot can change from here to now. From here to later, I should say. Which again, the whole MLB is going to be so mad. They're going to be like, oh, Dodgers are such cheaters. But look, guys, at the end of the day, bro, I mean, what do you, what do you want us to do, bro? Like, it's just like being a Yankee. You know? 
People people hated the Yankees for everybody wanting to go to the Yankees at one point. Just, it is what it is, man. They didn't, Rex, because they didn't want to be in greatness, bro. You know? That's all it was. <laughs> but you know what I mean, though. Like, it's just... just what, this is what happens when you're just such a big brand. Worldwide brand at that, you know? But I think this is the difference, Rex, though. I mean, not, not to put down any Imanaga or Suzuki, but... Now that the Dodgers have Otani, that is a very, very, very big... Uh, you know, recruiter there now. The Dodgers will have that no other team will have. Until there's another Shohei Otani playing somewhere else other than the Dodgers. It's just going to be tough. Now, obviously, the Dodgers won't be able to sign everybody. I think most teams know that. <laughs> but if the Dodgers can make it work and they want to play for them, I'm sure they're going to do their best. Flipstock. Which one was the flipstock? The D back. I missed it in the stack, Jonathan, you mean? What's up, Paul? I'm doing all right, buddy. The D back, the D back, the D back. I know, but which one? Did I put it in a sleeve or is it in the stack? That's what I was asking. Not the Alec Thomas, was it? Okay. I put them together now. Let's see. Down and back, down and back, down and back. Down and back, down and back. Gabriel Moreno? Didn't say nothing in that background. This one. Christian Walker? Merrill Kelly. And Christian Walker. All right, one second. Oh, wow. Actually, John, good eyes. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Whoa. How did you notice that from the screen? Is, it, is there a specific color in the front? That is actually pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Jonathan, you need to fly down here and just do these breaks for us. <laughs> uh, what is Jason doing this weekend? I don't know. Let's ask him. Jason, what are you doing this weekend? Um, I think I'm going to go to the Dodger game on Monday. Jackie Robinson hat night. Enjoy some nice cold micheladas, a couple of Dodger dogs. Maybe some nice uh, sweet treats. But that's my plan on Monday at least. I don't think Sunday I'm doing anything. I think Sunday would be more of like a Monday day for me. Usually if I do anything, any of my days off, I usually do everything on Sunday. That way Monday is just more like a relax at home slash go grocery shopping. But this time it's going to be flipped around. I think Sunday is going to be our relax at home, cook something nice at home with my wife, slash go to the gro grocery store. But Monday... I do plan to go to the Dodger game. <clears throat> bum, 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 bum. 
I'm still amazed, Jonathan, how that how you felt that with the glare, but like now I'm like I'm feeling the cards now. <laughs> Thinking, man, did I ever miss any of those in other breaks? But I've only done one though. Well technically Michael did it. I didn't actually do it. But that was amazing. I know. I wish that Christian Walker was a bread sock. So that way you can uh, get that reward. Alright, two more here and then we got four left. Who us? Musgrove. Robert Garcia. Henry. Was that, um, was that? That, uh, that, uh, turnover with flipped one you talked about, was that in the same spot as all the other ones go? I didn't realize that if it was or not. Oh, yeah, I heard it's going to rain this weekend, huh? Dalton Duar show. Interesting. So unless you notice the glare or you don't feel it, then you're probably going to miss it, most likely. That kind of sucks. I mean, I didn't realize those even existed, so I guess I didn't really feel for that. It's a good thing you're here. We had a Tavares. Red showing days. Yeah, it's been pretty warm the last couple of days here in LA. I went to go see my mom today in the morning and like it was like 80 plus over there, which means it was like 70 here. Oh, see John, that's that's not fun. <laughs> But I guess that's what this, what's the cool thing about the heritage, you know? It's like, you know, chasing all those little Easter eggs kind of deal. Is it really? Is that a is that an actual image variation like error, or did they just do that on purpose? Savell. So, well, Oh, they screwed up. That's funny. Jim Dalton. And then Kyle for the Padres to uh, 999. I don't tell you, it's warm, man.
Ezekiel Tovar. Colorado Rockies going to Tristan. Santander. Um, I think so, or if it doesn't, um, it's because one of them is like a short print and the other one isn't. But I think, yeah, Heritage usually does that. So if you don't want people to know your full government name, don't be a baseball player in the MLB, because Heritage will expose that. Zach Gallion. Matt McLean. It's like Steph Curry. You know his name. You know he's like Wardell. That's like his real name. It's like Wardell Stephen Curry or something like that. So he's like a junior technically, but when anybody ever actually calls him Wardell, he's like whoa, 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 whoa. Like I guess he hates being called that. <laughs> Lofton, George Kirby, Mike Nelson Trout. That's a second uh, low very low number variation trout. Let's get something in front of the very in front of the variation because we haven't gotten one of those in a while. Tony. Oh, is that Tiger's first name? Yeah, I, I can see why he wanted to be called Tiger. <laughs> I don't actually have a middle name, which I'm like kind of sad about, but then it's kind of cool. But you know, I sometimes I feel kind of like. Um, jealous of people like having a middle name or a longer full name. Uh, uh, you just call me Jay. I like when people just call me Jay. <laughs> so dangerous to do guys my hands are so big I can carry the whole stack with one hand but if any of the cards ever slip out it's over but I am a professional hey Yeah, for real. Are you guys all related? Is Joe your brother? Roddy Tillis. Patrick Sandoval. Peralta. <laughs> oh, 
I was like, man, y'all blind as hell, dog. <laughs> Yeah, Paul, we know that, right? But one time, a customer of ours was like, oh, where's your brother Joe at? Oh, I thought you guys were brothers. And we're like, what? Yeah, you guys are both Jaspi. I thought you guys were brothers. We're like, no. I mean, no, not really, legally, but... <laughs> Jaren Duran. Red Sox. Jonathan. He got something. Robert Stevenson blowing a little bubble gum. Dude, actually, you know what? Well, it's not Farmer John's anymore. They switched it a few years ago. And actually, you know what's funny is I bought the I bought the actual Dodger Dogs brand at the grocery store like last year f during the summer. I won't be able to give you the name because I totally forgot. I'm trying to remember it. But it is not Farmer John's anymore. It was for a very long time though. Yeah, exactly, Mike. Yeah, that, that's how we're brothers, you know? Like that. That's actually a great movie, Mike. I, I love that movie. Very sad towards the end, obviously. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think that was. I think that's what it's. I think that's what it is. Actually, they sell them in grocery stores. Yeah, Papa can tell us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought I bought one of these last year at the grocery store via Instacart. They actually sell them at the grocery store down the street over here. They're actually really good. I like them, honestly. I mean, I think Farmer John's were a little bit better. But uh, they're pretty good hot dogs. Oh, they're different? Actually, you know what, Rex? I will say, the few times I did go to uh, Wrigley Field... When we were in Chicago a couple times, um, I did really love their hot dogs, actually. I don't know what brand it was, but has, has it been the same? Those, those, are shit, those are pretty fire. Usually when I go to the store, I still get Farmer John dogs, but usually I kind of like the Hoffy, like bacon wrap hot dogs. I usually buy those. But I, you know, I'm not really picky with hot dogs either, though. 17 different brands? Wow. Well, I guess it's kind of hard to supply them via the region you're living in, right? Or the state, the city. So everyone has their own. Speaking of Dodger dogs, Rex, I, I can't wait to eat some on Monday. <laughs> I definitely gotta buy a pack of these for the summer. For like 4th of July. Kevin Bradley Newman. I love me a good sausage as well. I usually go. I usually get bratwurst. Uh, the uh, what is the, the brand of it? Mm. Well, that's actually right, Rex. Because you know what? I remember I could have got a Chicago style hot dog at the Camelback Ranch because the White Sox were there, and I, I guess it was Vienna too. I didn't realize that. All right, let me tell you guys this then. Are you guys like, okay, how many people actually put ketchup in their hot dogs? And if you don't, why don't you? Do you do, you do it because that's a kid thing? Or is it because like ketchup is not supposed to be on hot dogs? 
Because I, I hear people really think, like, you must be a kid if you eat ketchup on your hot dogs. You know? I personally love ketchup with hot dogs. <laughs> like, I really do. Uh, I'm not sure, Mike, if I ever did. Luciano! Shohei. I can't mess with relish, Mike. I wish I did, though. I will say, though, I, I like mustard to a certain extent. But I'm not a fan of, like, relish. I'm definitely not a fan of pickles. So, I... Usually, when I eat a hot dog, honestly, especially the street dogs, I'll put a little mustard in there. Obviously, ketchup. Some bell peppers. Some onions. You know, I'll mess with that. Oh, is that right, Jonathan? Alright, I'll double check those two. But uh, I do like putting mayonnaise in the hot dogs. But yeah, I mean, I, I remember like hardcore people are like, you can't, you can't, you can't put ketchup on a hot dog. I'm just like, what, bro? I've been doing this my whole life. <laughs> Dylan Cease. Cap says, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. To do something that just wants to sweet relish with onions, yeah. But I mean, at the same time, I don't care what people say, anyways. But oh, this one was flipped backwards, but maybe it was just flipped backwards because Michael. Whoa. Whoa. I'm tripping out now. No, wait, that's normal. Alex Cobb. What's up, Tris? I know, dude. I would love to play that Yankees Sotos first. That's what I'm saying, Rex. So I definitely don't want to eat a hot dog in Chicago uh, and request ketchup. Like, I'll just bring my own ketchup. And I'll like, just so people don't see me. Jordan Walker. Yeah, usually like I said, if I'm eating a normal hot dog like that we cook like at a barbecue and shit like that, definitely just straight up, um, definitely just straight up, uh, Ketchup, some mustard, and some mayonnaise. I think so, Tristan. It seems he seems pretty happy there. I mean, he's living in New York too, right? I mean, is there rumors of him wanting to leave next year too, Tristan? Like, or what? Paul, I think a lot of people expected him to make it to the opening day roster, but I think uh, I don't. I don't know if they. I don't, again, I don't remember if they. If somebody was injured is the reason why they called him up. But I mean, he was pretty much raking the minors too. So I mean, maybe they just felt like this. This is the time to do it. I don't know. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, obviously, for what you traded for him, you definitely don't want him to walk away. So I'm sure you're going to do everything in your power to do it. And obviously, money is going to play to a factor in that. But that shouldn't be a problem for the Yankees. Well, 
Well, I'm sure they'll go through stretches, right? Um, some of them will stay hot. Some of them are going to get a little cold. But, uh, I don't know. Will this be the year maybe you see Dodgers-Yankees in the World Series? That would be mad madness if that happened. I think the last time we ever had anything New York LA was like when the Kings played against the uh, Rangers. Tuki Toussaint. Giancarlo variation. South for a lick, what? It's pretty nice. Ellie. Nice. Another image variation. That's two of them. Red's having a pretty strong break. Now you can keep one and sell one. Did I pass an auto? Oh. No way. Let's see. I didn't even notice the blue ink. I was so worried about the image variations now that I didn't even notice the auto. Damn, you can't even see that one if that was an autograph. There you are. Sorry about that, Alex. All right, cool. We got three autographs in. I also wasn't actually expecting another one, too, so that's probably why I passed it up. We had two so early that I was, like, sad. Good eye, guys. Good eye. All right, so this stack was good then. I already went through this one. But I think I've done pretty good with the variations, though, at least for the most part. Yeah, I think so too, Jonathan, just to be safe. I will, I mean, we've actually told the sorters too, because like the sorters like to sort from the back of the card, but since the logos are not really on the back, they might sort from the front, but um, they usually try to check in case we miss anything too, and I'll let them know. If you could just take a quick glance on every base stack before you ship it out, just to be safe, but... The 
for the most part. I'll go down. Ipez. All right, last box, guys. Last box. And again, I was told that we are not going to have any more Heritage here for the time being. So we won't post any more, at least today. Maybe another time, or maybe we ended up selling some boxes and cases in the store. I know we have some Fanatics live on Instagram, so maybe, maybe uh, that's it for now. But it doesn't mean we won't ever have it again, but... No moss for today, at least. Soroka. Solar. Dominguez. Ben Joyce. Weaver. I know. Maybe. Hello. Oh, I love Baza. I love Baza. Sí, gracias. <laughs> but yeah, no, maybe maybe Nick is saving it for Joe on like Monday or something. I don't know. <laughs> we only get to do this like once a year, so I mean, I'm not, I don't, I don't really hate it. Honestly, it's a fun break to just chill out and you know go through some cards, really, right? To Oscar Hernandez, he's been doing really well for the Dodgers. Mariners. Um, Steven, uh, Steve Kelly. Whoa, we got a green. Green. George Kirby. That looks pretty nice. <laughs> Probably will. I can't do it. Can't do it. Gotta put it, save it for Jason tomorrow. I honestly thought this was gonna break yesterday. Look at this. I caught this one, Jonathan. Self for lick. That's a image one right before the insert. Shit. Come on, Jason Rex. Look at that. Just caught a Milwaukee uh, Brewers for EA variation. Can't be perfect, though. As money, Randolph. Kepler. Ramirez. Goes down in the beam. Whitey Herzog. Singer, Sonny Gray, Riley Green for the Tigers. Detroit, Kevin Smith. It goes down the dam. Whitey with the white border. <laughs> Camposano. Our last act right here, guys. Good luck, everybody. Santana. All righty, guys. Well, there you go. I'll do a quick little recap of the hits, oversize, and stuff like that. But fun break as always, guys. A little time consuming, but you know when nothing really else is sold out, it's always perfect, actually. 
And then obviously thinking of Michael for help pack stacking, that probably saved us like 15 minutes. So. Like I said, we think we did our best to try to catch the majority of the variation short prints, but if we did miss any, obviously, and like I said, like Jonathan said, maybe check your box and check your cards when you get them just to be safe. But we'll alert the sorting team, and they kind of know. I mean, they've been doing this for a few years now. The ones that have been with us for a while. You know, so I top loaded a lot of them, too, that were kind of bigger ones. Obviously, Tiosca Relic. There's an autograph. Ellie Variation. Seas. Duran. Trial Variation there, too. This was actually one of the rare ones that Jonathan pointed out. Um, what was it called again, Jonathan? Let me see. Let's scroll back up. Flip stock, that's right. I was, I was scrolling back up like a long time ago. But yeah, this one's a really cool one, guys. Flip stock. So for uh, Diamondbacks, Jeffrey. I guess it's a very rare one, maybe limited to five. Which is awesome. There's a Alec Thomas. Another trial, one of those low number variations. Eminez. Castellanos. McNeil. This is just the normal Jason Dominguez. I just top loaded it. Nestor autograph, another Ellie variation there. And then Jordan Adams. Um, and then these are all like the box toppers. We'll also top load these ones too. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six here. And then I think all of these here too. A couple Dominguez and a couple Ron Guidry's as well. So a couple Yankees there. And yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to go through them, but there's a lot of them. We had a hot box purple, so a lot of sleeved up there. Even more even sleeved up here as you can see so I, I did my best guys to try to catch as much as possible so there you go guys so like i said for the time being we won't have any more but hopefully we post them up so uh, soon because it always is a fun break but if you guys want to do more baseball though uh we have other stuff we can break today baseball wise um like sterling which looks like it's sold out and um and the gilded mixer with flawless and dynasty is also down to nine guys so let's get that rolling jaspiescasebreaks.com